Very good morning to you. My name is Ryan Littlestone from forexflow.live. Today we're going to talk about dollar, uh, uh, sorry, pound versus the dollar. Again, we've got an, another big Brexit day ahead of us. Uh, they seem to be endless at the moment, uh, if there's not one thing or another going on. What we've got today is another round of what's been called the indicative votes, uh, which is where Parliament votes on various measures that they hope might find a consensus as an alternative to Theresa May's plan or indeed as insurance for Theresa May's plan. So we've got another list of votes uh, potentially on the cards today. There's scheduled to be eight votes selected um, up for a motion. Again, these have to be chosen by the House Speaker. So we need to find out exactly what uh, he decides to pick. And basically they re revolve around things like staying in the customs union or some form of customs union, not leaving with uh, no deal. Um, there's also other motions on there as well, staying in uh, uh, the EEA or EFTA, various measures that are designed to make Brexit uh, more softer, if you like. Now, last week we had the first round of these votes and they really didn't throw up anything conclusive. Um, and we saw the pound suffer a, a great deal on that. Um, you know, we dropped all the way back from, you know, up in the, the heavy 131s, all the way down under 130, down towards the 129.60 area. There was pretty much a, a show from from buyers that although they still see the outcome from Brexit as either soft or no Brexit or even a deal coming and that no deal has been taken right off the table, it's the, the continued uncertainty. I mean, at the end of the day, we lost the being able to kick the extension to May 22nd because May's deal got voted down or half of it got voted down yet again. And this pretty much highlights the what you can call the stupidity of Brexit. Um, you know, the, the Parliament voted down the withdrawal agreement portion of her deal, um, which is crazy in one sense because this has to pass anyway, no matter what. MPs choose in any other parts of Brexit, they still have to pass the withdrawal agreement because the EU are not renegotiating that side. So even if they select a, a secondary deal to go with the political declaration, be it second referendum or some form of customs union, whether well, they need to pass, they have to pass this withdrawal agreement. So it was crazy why they didn't take the opportunity to, to kick the can to May 22nd. That's their choice and uh, we all scratch our heads about it. And so we're left with the, the April 12th deadline to get these indicative votes passed or anything else in the meantime. So looking at the pound, what, what are we looking for in this at the moment? Um, and pretty much we're, we're in the middle of, of what we've seen as a, a pretty wide range, sort of between the 134 and, and 129 area. I don't see anything changing in that respect unless we get some really big news. Um, that might be if in the case of people back in a second referendum or giving the vote uh, on the deal or no deal or deal and some other deal to the to the people. Um, the only real consensus we've got in all these votes is the 400 MPs that voted not to allow a no deal. That was pretty much the clearest signal we've ever had from Parliament in, in all this. And again, all these moves are, are seen as, as pound positive. So really, in one respect, you've got to look to buy the dips in, in the pound. Um, when it comes on this uncertainty and while the options that are on the table are still pretty much positive towards a soft Brexit or no Brexit at all. We know that no deal will still way down the list. Um, unless that ramps up, then we're going to see the pound meandering around in this range. But it's, it's pretty much, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty again. Now, you know, we've potentially got a general election thrown into the mix. So at the moment, well, how I'd look to play this vote is look at the positive outcomes. If we get a test up towards that 134 area, that might be a level you, you may want to look to short. Remember, these votes aren't legally binding. Uh, they're only indications. Plus, they don't change the fact that we've, they've still got to be transformed into a proper deal. So if you want to look at the technical side of things, down towards the, the uh, mid to low 129s, technically we've got the daily moving averages down there. That's an area to look at for longs on a technical basis, but keep the keep your levels tight, keep your trades tight. And that's all uh, we have to say about that factor, and uh, we'll see what happens at the vote tonight. Good luck.